Hi guys, just going through the logistics of the weekend, so please do share this, because it's important people know. A lot of concerns are that they thought this gathering was going to be cancelled. It's not, because, well, for many reasons, but one of the main reasons being is that on Sunday the 8th, Remembrance Sunday, and remember, I've stated from the offset, this day where we gather, we will have speakers that are speaking about all things that are related to protecting our freedoms and such like, just as our heroes, fallen heroes of the past that fought for our freedoms. So it's, it's the same message uh, um, being conveyed in a different way. But this is a remembrance parade that you're turning up for. Why is that important to know? That's important to know because the only gatherings that are legally allowed specifically on Sunday the 8th are gatherings for Remembrance Sunday. Now, there are not anyone can just say they're running a Remembrance Sunday, of course. So there are, there are boxes to be ticked. So I'm saying this to appease you and rest your... So you can rest your mind in the knowing that you are coming to an official Remembrance gathering. We have the ex-military veterans that are affiliated to this, i.e. myself, ex-services, 12 years, I'm technically a veteran, and we'll also have many other veterans that will be there. Another box that needs to be ticked is the laying of the reef. We will be laying a reef for the day. Another box that has to be ticked to acknowledge that it's a remembrance is the silence and playing of the national anthem of which we will do. The only thing that normally where this would take place is on a military cenotaph. However, the new legislation that was passed encouraged that remembrance parades would be gathered elsewhere or organised elsewhere rather so there isn't huge gatherings in one particular memorial or cenotaph um, war memorial, which we've done. So, set off on your journey and arriving the knowing that you are not breaking the law, you are attending a Remembrance Sunday parade, you will honour our fallen heroes and we will also have our, some speakers speak about things relative to fighting for our freedoms. In terms of parking, if you go to rise up, all one word together, underscore Manchester Insta on Instagram, we will post many of the car parks that we think are great for you to be able to have easy access to on the day and should be able to find yourself navigating to Piccadilly Gardens relatively easily. So, wear your poppies with pride on Sunday. Adhere to all the social distancing and everything else COVID related, please. So we don't get brought down quick time. And enjoy the day. It is a non-violent, it is a non-hostile Remembrance Sunday Parade with truth speakers and seekers giving their voice to be heard on the day. So I look forward to seeing you all. Please like, share, spread this message so everyone knows. So if they do get challenged by the police, which are only doing their job, they can say in the no comfort in knowing that they are turning up to a parade that the government has approved and therefore are not breaking the law and cannot be fined. I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Bring your energy, bring your voices, be ready to stand for what's right. We're gonna celebrate our fallen heroes whilst also coming together to make a stand for our future.